Hello, 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 people from the other side. Welcome to a new video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And then you know and can get some more of my videos on that page of yours. That's right. And if you aren't new and you haven't, but you've been like, oh, I'm missing this video. Oh, no. Then please click that bell icon so you know when I get new videos. Well, let's get into it. I am here going to show you something I treated myself to this holiday season. If you don't know what this is, this is a nail kit here. Yep, this is the nail kit that I got from Hollow Taco. And I quite like it. The embroidery of the faux leather is pretty awesome on here. Zipper is really nice. And I got this as well. And this is a topper. She calls her toppers like a taco. Even her top coats are tacos as well. That's just something she says. That's why her thing is Hollow Taco. Because it's hollows and tacos. Because she said top coat wrong once in a video years ago. And it's just become her brand. So with no further ado, this is the set. And I will show you in just a minute me doing my routine of my nails as well. So you can get that with my naturally long nails. How I keep them without getting any hang nails and stuff like that. Because since I've been keeping my nails up, painting them and all that stuff, shaving them. I, don't, I barely get any hang nails like I used to. But yeah, this is what it looks like. That's It gives you a really huge clippers, a medium clippers, a little scissors, this one that works well to clip, clip hangnails, a cuticle pusher, and a tweezers. All very ir iridescent -y, kind of, you see? With the purple to a reddish, slight, goldy color. But there we go. And this is like a wallet size. For the most you can, as you can see and it was very easy to carry around with you if you want to have a set a tool set on you for your nails but make sure to take it out of your bag if you're traveling this holiday season because if you take your purse with you as your carry on check ca check carry on or something then you don't want to have this in there because they will compensate it and that will be pretty annoying if you have something like this with some of the tools in it like the little scissors or the thing that the cutting hang nails off and stuff that one you saw that looks like a tooth, like a sharp tooth. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. All in all, this is pretty awesome. And I love the case. This is, the case is a big reason why I got it. Because I did look at another brand, Twinkle Tees, which is another brand I really like. And if you are curious about that, I do have a video of me showing you some pretty cheap, affordable brushes I got from them. I haven't used them yet, but the affordable brushes that you could check out that are only like eight to nine depending on how many are in the set they're just simple ones with a wood handle they're nothing of the fancy ones where you get the little fake gems in it with the like the plastic and the, all that so it, they might not be as good as those other ones but because it's from twinkle tees i was like okay i'll get that but i did look at twinkle tees things of tools and they're about the same price as getting it from hollow taco i forget how much this is but it's on the website so I would say it's very a very good price for something you're going to use over and over and over and over for I don't know how long. If you're one that likes to have your nails long, keep them nice and don't want to get or to keep your nails short and you just want to help the hang nails from happening and stuff, then maybe you should keep your nails shaped, keep your nails all that. And I do have which I've had for probably like a year now. I think I got it maybe last December is this. This is amazing as well. This is one of the first things I got from Hollow Taco because I've been really wanting one of these glass vials and she makes an amazing glass vial. I have talked about this before and you're gonna see me probably use it a little bit cause I'm gonna shape my nails up a little bit and all that because I'm, they are, they're always good. Every week or so, it's good for me to like put down my cuticles a little bit cause there's always like a little excess cuticle slightly and then it just keeps my nails nice and shaped so they are nice and perfect for doing that next many. So let's get to it. Now let's get this cuticle pusher out. Oh, I guess we can't put it get out of the way because of the piece of rubber. Let's probably get that rubber off so I can use that side when I want to. Ooh, that's a little hard to get off. Must be a little sharp then on what's underneath that. We're going to use the other side first anyway. So let's push it down nicely and try out this cuticle pusher. Ooh, it's going down pretty smoothly and nice if I do say so myself. So let's show it a second time. Why not? I don't know if you can see it, but it's 
moving the dead skin. No, that's not scratching my nail or anything. I'm doing it with a very, very light touch. It might seem like I might be scratching it for what you're seeing, but no, this is just taking away the dead skin that you don't want there if you're gonna paint your nails because it helps the nail polish stay on longer because then you're getting rid of some of your oils and whatnot on it. So that's what I'm doing here as I shape it. And as you can see, there's a little bit of dead skin going up there. So I'm using this tool to get it off because that kind of helps to shape it. But I recommend being very, very, very careful with this tool. If you don't feel good enough with it, I recommend just using the, the other one because I did use the other side somewhat too. And that actually kind of works to take some of the access of the dead skin off and you can kind of see me loosening it with my nail which kind of can do the same thing with the tool i would think you can do it with the sharp side because i tried it and it was pretty good so but now i'm just going to put on some cuticle oil to finish it off because i've done all that to it so this will kind of just give it some new rejuvenation on it and everything so let's just rub it in only bummer about this cuticle oil that i'm using from sally hansen it's a little oilier and it leaves my hands feeling oily and I don't like how it doesn't just seep in as much. But as you're going to see, I had to use some water and I do want to make sure I'm using water anyway because I'm going to paint them. So there I'm using water especially for two reasons. It's too oily and I'm about to paint my nails and the oil will get in the way of painting your nails. Yes, you don't want oil in the way. And because I have been keeping this pointer finger here of mine so it doesn't break, I've been putting glue on it here and there as it needed it. And yes, I'm using this tool. This is just flat edge you can get the nail polish i mean the um glue off pretty easily but so i'm just using it to flatten it because i'm not i don't have the nail glue that is there and that's what i do to get the nail glue on to hold in that place but what i'm doing here is just putting on the base coat so i can hold it and because i just wanted to keep my nails protected here is me just putting on a quick easy manicure and this one's a french i'm going to use the sparkle as well as a little bit of an accent just because i have it and i just got it so and i've been loving my green and so i was like this is a good opportunity to get it out there and to use it and now here is the top i'm going to use this is a scattered hollow is what what she calls it so i'm just putting it on top i'll show you in a minute how it looks like more so because this is not showing it truly because you need it on the flash to really see the true thing. And you can see how it's taking up some of the green. Should have put a top coat on before I did that, but that's okay. At least I don't have to worry about the green getting to the bottom piece because the hollow topper does have a kind of base coat in it. So it stops the green from getting that. But there we go. As you can kind of see the hollow a little bit more there. The trueness of the hollowness, craziness. And now here it is, even more so. Nails finished, looking good. And get closer and closer. You get to see the hollow awesomeness of awesomeness, if I do say so myself. Me, oh my. As I was using this, this tool freaking right here, the cuticle pusher, yes. I cannot emphasize this cuticle pusher enough. For the longest freaking time, I have been putting down my things, trying to use a cuticle pusher, but it always annoyed me. And I was like, oh, it's just my own nails. I don't have to worry if I'm doing someone else's nails. Because you don't use your own nail, even if your nail's strong enough, on someone else. Because it can be damaging or your oils. It's better, you need to use a tool. But I have, it might be because I've used to use rubbery ones and stuff i think i've used metal slightly or i've seen people use like a piece of wood with like a kind of a shape on it for that as well but all i have to say is this the, this is the most one of the most amazingest things of on the planet of a cuticle pusher because even on myself you probably saw it did the best job i've ever had to pew it's not to pew to pull down to push down my cuticles and then I and then using the nice cutter as well right here so I use this cutter here as you saw this was pretty good too I recommend be really really careful even though I did it pushing down the cuticles sometimes you should only do push down the cuticles but if you happen to have a really big ridge because you haven't done it for a good while and you know you're skilled be careful doing that anyone else Unless you're really, really skilled on it. I do see some professionals use this to cut the excess dead skin around the area at the bottom. 
which I do to myself here and there, but make sure there's enough actually there because a lot of times you can just push it down and then clean it up on the thing, get the dead skin off with using this because there's this sharpish but not sharp tool, which is pretty awesome as well. So yeah, I don't know how many, how much more I can praise this freaking thing. I'm not saying the rest of it's probably pretty awesome too. I just don't use um, clippers too, too, too much. I do use them somewhat like on my toes and whatnot. And I do use them occasionally on my hands when I need to cut them a little shorter because one broke too much and I cut a little bit. Like I did a f like last month on this hand. That's why this hand's so short because this one broke pretty low for the most part, but it's still some nail. So I cut them all kind of short-ish. They're not all exactly the same lengths. I'm not always great at like making exact same lengths always because I do want to keep enough so they're good, whatever else. So yeah, this was that and you saw me putting on this topper, which is pretty awesome. I showed you a spotlified and the way to really show that holo is to like use what I did, which is I used my camera light, like the flash. It really shows off the sparkle, especially if you make it like really, really subdued like almost almost like a blurry like if, if you know how to like simply not to call taco she makes it really blurry and then you can see all the hollow to the extreme so yeah and i will probably use this in another mani coming up after this one but yeah that was just a simple sparkle on top with some with some green underneath because i just wanted to show you off that as i show you how i did my routine with this and yes if all you need is one of these you can do that because for, for one thing about this, I think it might be like 40 ish. I think it's like maybe 30 ish around that price range. But if you don't want all these tools and all you need is maybe something like this, then maybe go to Twinkle Tea and get one. And they probably may have one just as amazing as this. And then you only pay like 15 for just one tool. Yes, it's up there ish in price. I think it's 15 or 13, or whatever. That's why. If you get all of them, it's probably gonna cost the same as this, and then this, you get a case with it. Really awesome quality case. So it just depends on what you wanna spend and how many of the things you actually need. Then it saves the life of you. And I was like, oh, it's easier to just use my nail. Now I do the best job I've ever done. Almost salon quality. I'm not saying I'm an expert fully, but I have learned a lot of stuff from a certain YouTuber, the Nail Care Education, which is a tech, uh, um, which is a nail tech. So I learned stuff from her and all that awesomeness. So just take it for what you will. All I'm gonna say is just for that tool and even the cutter and everything and just the all around awesomeness because I'm used to other tools where they're cheap-ish to just have something and it's maybe like a Velcro case and then the little, the little pockets where they hold it in place start getting loose and everything just falls out and it's just like a crap shoot and you're like, ah, I'm almost gonna lose my my little file or my whatever but yeah having this and having my file because then i can have everything i need in one place <laughs> so with no further ado i thank you for coming to this video and seeing my take on this amazing nail kit <laughs>